The dust around the dubious dealings of the previous Rindu Town Council management is refusing to settle and it has begun to haunt the current executives. The Rundu Town Council's audited accounts for the financial years that ended in June 2016 and 2017 are in shambles as millions of dollars were spent, but no proof was provided to justify such expenditures. During the 2016-17 financial year, the Auditor General's report unearthed an unexplained difference on the bank reconciliation amounting to $45 million. The council did not also submit supporting documents for value-added tax amounting to $46 million. There was also a non-submission of supporting documents of provision for leave policy amounting to $7 million. The Rundu Town Council management also failed to submit trade and other receivable supporting documents as well as that of expenditure vouchers amounting to $6 million. The council went as far as understating the subsidy amount which they received from the government with over $2 million. The committee felt that those who were running the affairs of the town did not know what they were doing as they were even making use of an outdated accounting system. In the books, it's saying there's 45 million, but in the bank, the bank account, there's 2 million. And uh, 20, uh, 20, uh, 2015, it was also the same. There was a 29 million in the bank, mm -hmm. and it was not there. Yes. And that which, which, which were here, they had issue with lamb water, they could not pay lamb mm. water, yes. but the balance in the bank is saying in the, in the statement they've got money, mm. but money was not there. Mm. In 2019, saying you have 29 million, but there's no money. In 2017, saying you have 46 million, then there's no money. The, those are not errors. I cannot regard that as errors. These are deliberate things, and maybe I'm wrong and, and I'm unfair, but uh, me as a lay person, would look at this and say, you say you have this, but you do not have. It, it looks like as if you are cooking the books. Mm. No, we cannot work like that. The Public Accounts and the Economy Committee described the Rindu Town Council as the worst local authority in terms of administration. The committee called on the accounting officer of the council to furnish them with all the required documents and further indicate on how the council is going to pay back the public money. After two months we have discussed that one in the council. Mm -hmm. You must take those resolution and the minutes indicating how you are going to resolve these issues. That's now your action plan mm -hmm. that you said we have. Should go to the line minister. Uh, subsequent five is not yours. The minister then will submit those minutes and the resolutions indicating how these issues are going to be resolved to the Auditor General. Currently, the, Auditor, the Minister cannot come to the Auditor General because he doesn't have that, those Ministers' resolution. And the Council cannot go to the Minister because the thing is not tabled. So, I can't know if I should do those ones. Mm. Provide list with names and companies of Council debtors particularly loans with high amounts, the 10,000 that are not paying, and particularly those with high amounts. And then proof that the management have approached the councils on how to deal with these debtors. And then the last thing is explanation of your prior adjustment of the 50 million under note 8.